We've heard a lot about the spectrum crisis, but today I'd like to point out we have an equally large competition crisis. This is a crisis that consumers are already facing today as they get locked into more expensive multi-year bundles, while competitors are locked out of entering the marketplace to offer better alternatives. The market for wireless service is concentrated at the top, with Verizon and AT&T together controlling nearly 65% of the market share and capturing nearly 80% of the entire wireless industry's profits. The market for at-home broadband service has long been a duopoly, and FCC data predict that most American households will have no other choice than their cable company for next-generation internet access. These trends have real consequences for consumers. J.D. Power reports the average wireless bill in 2011 was $86. That's a 25% increase in just the last four years. These market conditions will be made much worse if this deal is approved. If federal regulators are serious about protecting the public interest, they must act to preserve the limited amount of competition in the wireless market that exists today, and that starts with denying this license transfer. These agreements simply rep uh, represent a deal between these companies to stay out of each other's way in perpetuity. Competition benefits consumers when companies are trying to win subscribers from their competitors, not when they are offering to sign up their own customers for their rival services. The consolidation that we've been experiencing is no accident. It is not the hand of the free market. Rather, it's the outcome of public policy decisions that have unwound protections on competition and placed a disproportionate amount of our nation's most valuable spectrum into the hands of just two companies. There is no reason this pattern of poorly protecting the public interest has to continue. The DOJ and the FCC showed immense analytical skill and political courage in rejecting the AT&T T-Mobile merger. And if that was the down payment on future competition, preventing this proposed transaction should be the next installment. Thank you very much. I look forward to your questions.